It's important to understand the thinking within the BJP on the issue of the Gyan Vyapi mosque. Anybody who's been to that mosque, read history, knows that before there was the mosque, there was a temple there that there can be no question about. The question is, is this something the BJP actively wants to take up? When the Ayodhya judgment came out, there was a sense that all other such disputes would be left on the side. You wanted to focus on development. Do you now believe that reinstating uh, the status of the Gyanvyapi mosque is something that is important for the BJP at the center and in UP? Rahul, this debate should not be about the BJP. This debate should be about India. India as a civilization. Any society that does not own up its history is doomed to repeat it. And that is exactly what we did for the last seven decades when distorting history became part of the Congress lastly and the communists who often supported the Congress in the center and several other states that they used history as a tool of propaganda, a tool to further their idea of secularism. And that is why you have the rift that you see in the society today. Why shouldn't Ayodhya have taken so long to resolve? Why have we not owned up that Gyanvyapi Mosque was built over a temple and similarly Mathura? Again, but Mr. Malvia, that's the a rhetorical answer to a very specific question. We'll deal with society in a moment. I'm asking you a straight question as the BJP spokesperson. Do you believe the time has come for the Gyanmyapi Mosque to be turned and restored back into a temple? Is that what the BJP is pushing for? I am saying that it is time to reconcile to our past. That should be done by the Hindus as well as the Muslims, and they have to realize that we have a shared past. They may have opted for a different religion because of these aggressors who demolished our temples and built these mosques as signs of oppression, but they are culturally Hindus and we share the same roots. Therefore, whether or not this Gyanvyapi mosque is restored to the original temple or not is something that we will know as we get along, but it is important to recognize that there is a past and the past is that of these aggressors demolishing these Hindu temples and building mosques over it. And that too on the holiest shrines of Hindu, in the holiest city um, of the Hindus, namely Banaras and uh, Mathura. Ayodhya we've seen was a long protracted battle where the Congress stood by uh, okay. the uh, Muslim uh, appellants against the Hindu interest, knowing fully well that Ayodhya is of significant importance. So what happens next? The answer is in the womb of the future. But for now, it is important to reconcile and acknowledge our past. And that is what this step is towards.